Well, the inaugural UFL season came to an end. Team USFL. Who cares? Time to throw this in the laundry basket. <laughs> so, I'm here to talk about what I thought of the uh, first season of the UFL. All right. I know, I think a lot of people aren't going to watch this video, which that's fine. But I'm here to talk about what I think. What do I think of the United Football League inaugural season? All right. I got to be honest. I did not watch many games. However, I watched a lot of highlight videos on their YouTube channel. Their extended highlight video, like uh, they're like fifteen to twenty-five minutes. Um, I was gonna watch them live, but I just, I didn't, f just didn't felt like it. Just didn't felt like watching them live. Uh, there were other things that I wanted to watch instead. Um, I kind of watched some live for the first week, but then I just started not watching them, um, which that's not surprising because this league is not popular, obviously. For those of you that watch games or highlights, you notice that there's... There's a lot. There's always a lot of empty seats in the stands, you know, the stadium, which is kind of unfortunate. Hell, if there's a team in my state, I would go to some games, but the closest team is Houston. Do I really want to drive four hours? I mean, I was thinking about it, but first of all, I, I last year, I was a Houston Roughnecks fan. This year, it's a totally different story. The Houston Roughnecks sucked. Why? It's a totally different roster, a totally different coaching staff. And what I, I made a video about this. I made a video about talking about this, the Houston Roughnecks. Because this is the first season of the merger, the XFL and the USFL. This is what the fans wanted, right? So they came to let they came together and merged, and they formed the UFL, the United Football League. And I made a video of me talking about what I like and what I don't like, and what I didn't like was that the Houston Roughnecks, because here's the problem, the XFL and the USFL both have Houston teams, so they can only pick one, and they decided to pick the Houston Roughnecks, but they kept the Houston Gamblers players and coaching staff. That's stupid. So if they're the Houston Roughnecks, why don't they have the same roster and coaching staff from last year? Instead, they have last year's Houston Gamblers roster and coaching staff. So if that's the case, why aren't they called the Houston Gamblers? It makes no sense. And that's when, that's when I got upset about that. And they, here's another thing that I don't like is the divisions. Instead of North and South Conference, like in the XFL and USFL, it's usually North and South Conference, right? For some reason, they decided to do XFL Conference and USFL Conference. Guess what conference the Houston Roughnecks are in? The USFL Conference, even though the Houston Roughnecks are technically an XFL team, but their roster and coaching staff are from the Houston Gamblers, and the Houston Gamblers are from the the USFL. So why aren't they called the Houston Gamblers? It's stupid. It, I guess it's because the Houston Roughnecks is a more popular name or team. Another thing that I did not like about the Houston Roughnecks was their ugly uniforms. I don't like their uniforms, especially the helmets. 
Why do you have three different colors on your helmets? That's stupid. And I, I went on Twitter or X and people were saying the same thing. So if this if there's a season next year, please do one or two things. Bring back the 2020 uniforms or just change the name to the Houston Gamblers. Meaning you're going to have to use the Houston Gamblers uniforms. Because I think, in my opinion, the Houston Gamblers uniforms are so much better. They look so much better. All right. Because if you don't do either or, that means you're not listening to your fans. I'm sorry. Sorry to say that. And and the the sucky part about it is I have two Houston Roughneck shirts. I wore it a couple of times and I I watched some of their games, but I knew this team wasn't going anywhere, meaning I knew this team was not going to have a good season as they did last year, because last year they had a totally different roster and coaching staff. And I'm going to show you an image that I screenshot on Twitter right now. Alright, this is what I found on Twitter, a screenshot. This was after the Houston Roughnecks last game. This person says, okay, now hire June Jones as head coach. I don't know who that person is. But it also says, bring back the 2020 uniforms with the current logo. And that will be a start to getting the Houston fan base back. That would bring me back for sure. And this person replied... It says, just get rid of the ridiculous multi-tune color helmet. I mentioned about that. Their, their, their helmets have three different colors. The uniforms either way are fine. Some two-year-old designed the current helmet with no direction. This person says, maybe bring back the helmet, but the current uniforms are much cleaner. Uh, yeah. In case if you don't know what the 2020 uniforms look like, I will show it to you right now. Alright, this is what I talked about in a video a couple of months ago. This is what their uniforms look like in 2020. These look so much better. These uniforms look so much better back then. I understand why they have to change the logo. If you notice, their logo is different. They had to change the logo... Because the NFL filed a lawsuit because that logo looks similar to the Houston Oilers logo, which no longer exists. The Houston Oilers are no longer a team. They moved to Tennessee, but they didn't become the Tennessee Oilers. They became the Tennessee Titans. So that's stupid. The NFL had to do that crap on a, on a logo that is defunct, a team that's defunct you know now let me show you their 2020 three uniforms or last year's and this year's what the hell is this you see what I'm saying this these look ugly I don't like them I'm sorry I, I don't like them if they keep these uniforms next season if they do have a season next year if they keep these uniforms I'm done I'm done. I, I'm, I'm not going to be a fan of this team next year if they keep those uniforms. So like I said, do one or two things. Bring back the 2020 uniforms or change the name to the Houston Gamblers. Because if you don't do either one, I'm done. That means you're not listening to your fans. Because I've, I've seen comments of people saying similar things it's not just me so anyway enough about that let's talk about um more about the ufl inaugural season 
here's another screenshot that I found. Alright. This is what this person said. NGL. That means not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I think I'm done with the UFL. Even though it's only the first year. Same team keeps winning. And my teams are gone. The Seattle, Dr Seattle Sea Dragons. And the Pittsburgh Maulers. And this has gotten boring and predictable. Congrats, but I think I'm done watching the same results every year. <laughs> and then this person says, okay, bye. And then he replied, bye, enjoy whatever the UFL's doing. XFL was more fun and better football. I can't blame him. I can't blame this person. So, yes, the other day was the UFL championship game between uh, XFL champions San Antonio Brahmas and the USFL champions Birmingham Stallions. And I watched that game live with my father on Father's Day. Yes, it was kind of weird that the game was on Father's Day. Could have been on Saturday instead. But I watched it live because I was looking forward to it. Even though I wish St. Louis was in the game because the game was in St. Louis. And based, what I, based on what I saw, St. Louis, the St. Louis Battlehawks have the best fans. And I think the reason why that is, is because they played at the, the, the St. Louis Dome. And the St. Louis Rams used to be there the NFL Rams before they moved to Los Angeles they used to be in St. Louis so they moved to LA and the stadium did not get torn down the stadium was still a thing so a couple years later Vince McMahon brought back the uh, XFL wait was St. Louis a team in 2020 I think they were I forget, because that was four years ago. But they brought back a St. Louis football team, and that's why they have a, a bunch of fans, you know. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. I wish the St. Louis Battlehawks were in the championship game only because the game was in St. Louis. So in the final week of the regular season, week 10, San Antonio Brahmas had to play against the St. Louis Battlehawks in St. Louis. And that game was... Both teams were going to be in the semifinals. That game determined on which team would have home field advantage in the uh, semifinals. St. Louis won. So that means both teams had to play each other again the following week in St. Louis again. But this time the semifinals, the game to go to the UFL championship game. And somehow, San Antonio won. That was a big upset. Uh, part of me was happy for Wade Phillips, the old coach for San Antonio. Wade Phillips was the coach for the Houston Roughnecks last year. So, you know, I'm like, man, I wish Wade Phillips was still on Houston. But nope. So, when, when San Antonio beat St. Louis to go to the championship game, I was like, I mean, yeah, I'm happy for Wade Phillips, but there's going to be a lot of empty stands. And there were. There were a lot of empty seats. And it's funny because last year's XFL championship game was in San Antonio. Too bad. They weren't in it last year, and too bad St. Louis wasn't in it this year. So, I watched the game. I watched the full game. I, I had a feeling the game would be low scoring. And it was in the first half. Uh, Birmingham was leading 8 to nothing. Okay? And then the second half, it was just all Birmingham. San Antonio could not get anything going. It was a shame. Birmingham won 25 to nothing. 
what a shame to end the season. I mean, I knew Birmingham was going to win, but I didn't thought it would be a shutout. I didn't thought it would be a shutout. You know, Birmingham had one loss, and that was to San Antonio. You know, they say it's hard to beat the same team twice, you know. Um, maybe that's why St. Louis couldn't beat them back-to-back -back weeks, you know. So, I think, I don't know why, in my opinion, the, the championship game should not be at a neutral site. Unlike the Super Bowl, the, this, whoever, whichever team has the better record, the game should be at their stadium. And in this case, it's Birmingham. The game should have been at Birmingham. But here's, a, here's another weird thing. They don't, there were some empty seats in Birmingham too. When Birmingham were playing their home games, even though they were the best team, there were some empty seats too. It's like, do they not care about their football team? I don't know what it is. Um, but yes, Birmingham has won the Spring Football League Championship three times in a row. They won the USFL Championship game last year and the year before. So technically, it's a three-peat. And that's why this person, this person says he's, he says, I think I'm done with this league. And I can't blame him. I, I can't blame him. It's the same, you know, same results. But uh, I'm not surprised that Birmingham won again. I mean, it is what it is. It's just a shame that the season had to end like this. I guarantee you, if St. Louis was in this game, they would have put on. They would have put some points on the board. They would have. Hopefully, this league will get better next year. But if it if it's the exact same as this year, then that's not a good thing. Um, I know this is what we all wanted. We all wanted the XFL and the USFL to merge. And that's what they did. They listened to their fans. But, uh, I don't know. It's just not really working well. Maybe it's because it's only year one for this new league. I don't know. But, <sighs> it is what it is. So, to recap, some changes that I want them to do next season. For the Houston Roughnecks, bring back either bring back the 2020 uniforms or change the name to the Houston Gamblers, meaning you're gonna you're gonna bring back the Houston Gamblers uniforms. Do one of one or the other. If you don't do either or, then I'm not supporting this team. I mean, they were at they. They only had one win. Houston Roughnecks had one one win this season. That's bad. That is bad. So, and oh, another thing they need to do is don't do. XFL division and USFL division. It needs to be North division and South division. Okay? The teams up North. You got the Michigan Panthers. The Memphis uh, Showboats. The St. Louis Battlehawks. And who is the fourth team? I forget. Because there's really five XFL teams and three USFL teams, technically. Uh, let me look at the map. I'm going to look at the map real quick. Um, let's see. United Football League. Actually, I can, probably, I can probably screen share this. Yeah, let's do that. Nope. Here we go. So that so I can look at the map, they'll they'll tell you. Here we go. Oh, DC. Okay, you can do North and South Division. 
in the North Division, you would do Michigan Panthers, St. Louis Battlehawks, DC Defenders, and Memphis Showboats. In the South Division, you can do Birmingham Stallions, Houston Roughnecks slash Gamblers, San Antonio Brahmas, and Arlington Renegades. Problem solved. You know? You don't need to do XFL Division and USFL Division. That's kind of stupid. But hopefully they hopefully they'll listen to their fans. Uh Who knows? They kind of did last year when we all wanted XFL and USFL to merge. So we'll see. But it was just a disappointing way to end the season. So yeah. Oh well, I'm not I'm not really upset. I'm just giving you guys my opinions. So yeah. Um, the CFL just started, the Canadian Football League. I am more into that. And I, I know that sounds weird because I live nowhere near Canada, but I have the Canadian sports channels. Almost every night, I would watch the Canadian Sports Center instead of the American version because I love the Canadian version more. Yeah. I like everything that they do about it. Same with the CFL. I love everything about it. I love the broadcast, the way the game is. It's more fun, in my opinion. So, yeah. That's about it. So, I know uh, my favorite team is the Montreal Alouettes. They won the Grey Cup last year. I did, I think, like two videos. or No, I think it was just one video of me talking about the team. So, yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think? Um, if any of you guys are watching this part of the video, uh, I want to say one last thing before I end this. Do y'all like when I talk about sports? I know I don't do them very often, but lately I've been kind of doing some sports talking videos. And whenever I do... Whenever I do sports talk videos, they don't get many views. I know this is this channel is really a gaming and vlogging channel, but once in a while, I'll do a talking video like this, just me talking to the webcam. But a lot of times when I do that, it's usually me talking sports. And it doesn't they don't it doesn't get many views. So I guess a lot of you guys aren't really sports fans in general. But I've always been a sports fan in general. Um, I mean, I don't watch every sports league. That's too much. Um, I know the Summer Olympics starts in about a month. In a week. Um, when that comes, that's pretty much all, all I'm watching. Meaning, I'm not going to not going to watch any CFL games during the Olympics, but their YouTube channel, just like the UFL, they post highlights. And that's what I'll watch during the Olympics, because the Olympics are only two weeks. So, yeah. Um, so, I guess a lot of you guys aren't really sports fans in general, which that's fine. I mean, hey, we all like different things, you know? We all watch different things on television you know we don't we don't we don't like everything together you know so we're all different but i'm just saying whenever i do sports talk videos they don't get much attention not no one really comments so i feel like i'm talking to myself <laughs> when no one else is watching but it is what it is i mean i'm just doing this for fun um yeah, I, I really doubt that no one or anyone's watching this part of the video, this end, you know. But I just wanted to get this off my chest, so, yeah. <sighs> That's it. Let's hope the UFL will be better next year. I think it'll it'll come back next year. So, let's hope they uh, make some changes. The changes that the fans wanted. At least what I wanted. But I love the CFL. So, yep. Summer football. Fun summer Canadian football.
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.